morning it's very early on the 18th of february and today is my sister's birthday and i love her a long time ago she told me about a fantasy series that she loves erin and i kind of have the same taste in books but kind of don't and maybe this is one where we differ but i found it in a charity shop and i thought why not try and read it on my sister's birthday because she recommended it to me as some way to kind of get into or enjoy a fantasy book which I don't think I'm going to enjoy so we'll see where she's right she said Ursula Le Guin is cool and this is the first book in the Earthsea tri trilogy series trilogy And I'm gonna spend the morning reading this before I have to switch into my mode. So I thought I'd record my thoughts. So I'm a little guy. Um, it is just under 200 pages long. So let's see if I can read this today on her birthday. I'm I'm kind of excited because it's so out of the box. But I had to film it. <laughs> you can come along for the ride. Okay, let's start reading about wizards and half bird, half men things. Okay. Did I mention it's 5 a.m.? The sun isn't even up yet. Oh. Oh my gosh. That's Ursi. I mean, look at all these little places. Gosh, she's put some thought into this. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. Getting more flustered because it's, you know, it's so unfamiliar. Okay, I'm 17 pages in, but the thing that's really striking me is just the pure imagination that's involved, I guess. The books and the kind of books I read are so rooted in the real life and real circumstances that could happen and yeah, just sort of everyday stuff explored really well with beautiful words and beautiful writing. But this, this is pure imagination. This has never existed outside of her brain before. She's got the Kargat Empire and you know, the different parts of, of the lands that they ravage and, yeah, how they um, raid the ships that come in and, you know, just, like, that's, that's really um, impressive to me. So, yeah, I, did, I didn't think, I, I don't know, I mean, like, fantasy is fantasy, it's in the word, right? But, like, honestly... Because I, I, I've never actually witnessed it, because I've never actually seen it before. It's it's taking me by surprise. <laughs> I don't really know what I expected. I don't really know. <laughs> that sounds so ridiculous on so many levels that I didn't even think about that. But it's just hit me. Okay. And maybe the maybe the fantasy, and maybe this is based on historical events, and she's you know, just embellished it, but, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, that's, it's really impressive, it's very cool, I had to record that, the actual click of that in my head, okay, I've, that, my poor plant isn't happy there, I need to move it today, or maybe I should water it, let it help as well, okay, back to the car guard empire, okay, I, I switched out of Natalie mode into mum mode and didn't talk to you about that. I've been making lunchboxes. If you saw my vlog the other day, you know what I've been doing. <laughs> um, 
And now it's, it's completely capturing me. I would absolutely love to sit with this all day. And yeah, this is, you know, like I've never read Harry Potter or I've done the Wondersmith thing, the Jessica Townsend series, the Morrigan Crow thing. Um, but that was, you know, kind of middle grade, I guess, with the kids. I don't know whether this is, is you'd be able to tell me. I have no idea whether this is adult fantasy or what this is, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the, um, the natural aspect of their, like the wizard's connection to their spells and things. And it's all through, yeah, it's all through, you know, the herbs and the wind and yeah. And that sort of stuff really appeals to me. So that's helping. And I just, yeah, I'm just, every time I read something, a description of something, I just think, wow, this came from this woman's brain, you know, like that's amazing to me. So anyway, <laughs> I'm captured, which is a really cool. It's a really cool thing. So yeah, I'm 50 pages in. So um, yeah, mum work mode now. And yeah, maybe I will be able to sneak some in at lunchtime and see how productive I am this morning. In saying that, I need to change from this into something that can be presented at a work meeting and also at my children's school when I drop them off. <laughs> this, is, this is not, this is not good. <laughs> so I'll talk to you when I'm picking the book back up again, hopefully in a few more hours. Okay, I can do this. Let's go. And the sun has just started to rise out there. So pretty. Yesterday was a write off. <laughs> we can't even. Patty, Patty was sick and couldn't go to school. So there's that. And then when a baby's sick, it's all consuming and you have to lie with them and read books with them and try and keep them off the screen and make sure that they have enough water and uh, all of the things. So I tried to fit work in around caring and the day did not leave room for this. So I'm back at 5 a.m. in the morning <laughs> trying to read some more of this. Um, Patty hadn't woke, didn't wake me up through the night so fingers crossed he's okay and I can kick him out the door to school. <laughs> and a normal day isn't that terrible but I have so much I need to get done including finishing reading this I wanted to finish read it on my sister's birthday yesterday but of course of course as a parent you will know that every time you make plans something happens to change out of your control <sighs> do the 5am thing and get some more of this read and hopefully you will see me again today finishing off this book. Hopefully. Okay, so let's just do it again. Read what we can. I'm strangely drawn back to this book. Strangely because that was not my expectation. I thought I was going to have to trudge through it. But we're still only at the start, so we shall see. Let's keep reading fantasy for the morning. Where was all I'd say that? Quick update on the sick child. He's awake and he just said he feels amazing. And he's brighter and all of the things. So, oh God. Thank God. Let's hope this isn't... Sorry, things are looking up. Right, I got him some food. Now I'm just going to read. Full disclosure. I've just discovered Matt's What I Reckon. Is it? It's on, he's on YouTube, look it up, um, but only if you don't mind swearing, because he swears a shit ton. <laughs> he's this Aussie, like seriously Aussie bloke that cooks, and he kind of has this fight with jar sauce and cooks his own thing, and it's, it's to me, it's hilarious, and I don't know whether it's Aussie humour or what it is but 
I just wanted to share with you the joy. So I just finished a chapter and just watched an episode. I just discovered him, so I've got this backlog of little episodes to watch, and it just makes me laugh every time. I don't know what it is about it, but maybe it'll make you laugh too. So I'm just sharing the laughter. Okay, back to the very serious wizardry book. This is about dash time, people. This is when you realise that you have nothing to put in lunchboxes and not even a piece of bread in the house to give toast to your kids for breakfast. It's like... A, a, so I'm off to a bakery somewhere <laughs> to find things to satisfy hungry children. But the, the wizard book is so cool. <laughs> like, so cool. There's this, um, you know, kind of dark, ominous thing, mystery thing that's that's been introduced that's looming in the background. And, um, yeah, the wizard guy has just left the school and is going for his first wizard job. And, you know, his fate is locked up in this dark, ominous mystery thing. And uh, it's really intriguing. I could sit with it all day. And it's the perfect day for it. Like it's, uh, you can't even see, yeah, you know, like it's all cloudy and, but no, I'm off to find some bread. <laughs> oh my God. Right, I got, I got to drive and go, okay. Let's go work this out. Right, I took a breath, I sat down, and now I'm going to a book sale. <laughs> I have work to do and I have all of the things to do, but if I don't make these things a priority, then they never happen. So the library is having a book sale, so I'm gonna go there. I just thought I'd give myself some me time. I think that's much deserved after the morning that I've had. I started and there are bags bags and bags of books I think there's five I paid $43 winning I don't know what's in them so we'll unpack them together at some stage but it is now nearly 11 o'clock I'm starving and I need to work so I'm gonna go do that I will read that fantasy book at some stage. I just spoke to a friend who's coming for a sleepover tonight too, so I will get to that book very soon. Leave it with me. I will show you those bags very soon. Leave it with me. Okay, hi. I should be doing so many things right now, but I'm going to prioritize showing you my book haul and really showing me what I got. I just showed the boys. I bought the boys, um, I bought Fitzy the top, Zach Power series. I found most of the series there that he can read. And I, Paddy started reading the Tom Gates books. So um, I found all except for one, I think, at the, the book sale thing. So, yeah, I just showed them. They're really excited. They're putting them on their bookshelves. That makes me so happy. <laughs> okay. These are the cookbooks I got, the Lebanese kitchen, but check out these, the edges. Can you see that? Aren't they cool? I love Lebanese food. So maybe I'll cook something out of there one day. I got a Nigella book. I love Nigella. 
And then I got a, just, you know, the opposite end of the scale, a vegan book. My Abula, Abu, Abula's Table, an illustrated journey into Mexican cooking. How gorgeous. And check it out inside. Like it's got all these uh, cool illustrations and family photos and... Oh, look at this chicken. How gorgeous. So... I couldn't resist. Um, I got a book of First Nations poetry. Spirit song. You can't see it because of the stickers. It's um, poems for children. So 35 poets write about what it means to be a First Nations person today. So I'll sit and read this with the boys or with myself. Either way. So that's the cooking and the poetry. And then we just jump into oh, fiction. Dan's here. Dan's here. I gotta go. Somebody's here. I'll be back in a sec. I'm back. Uh, was this a little pop-in visitor, which was really nice? Okay, what have I got? Oh, The Years with Laura Diaz. Carlos Fuentes. Cool. Something about Mexico City. I'm, I think I meant to know who Laura Diaz is, and I don't. It's a novel. It's a fictionalised account. Um, okay. A novel but it's it's in this big book it's from central queensland university press which is a, a regional university um australian yeah obviously australian oh my god i'm all frazzled now um but i don't know it's it's like a um i don't think it's by a first nations author but it is um about three girls being in the desert and sort of some dream time stuff going on as well i think i don't know it's blurred by philip adams i love philip adams um if you're in australia and you listen to um lnl on the abc i'm a bit of an abc listener yeah philip adams that show is um makes me really happy i enjoy his wit right this, I, I don't know what this is but i bought it because it's one of these oxford world classic books this is called um, The Monk by Matthew Lewis. Gothic fiction, first horror novel in English literature. Not really up my street, is it? <laughs> anyway, The One Inside by Sam Shepard. This is, I really liked the look. This is why I bought this. This author's just sitting there, really comfortable on his deck chair out in the, out in the field. Um, yeah, it just looked interesting. It's got decked edges. I, I just, I was impressed by, by the pictures. Um, I have this book, but these editions were really cool. And the, the, um, it's over there. Otherwise I'd show you it. But the, the edition I've got, uh, the House of Miss, um, Mr. Biswas is, um, the edition I've got is really crappy and torn up. So I took the opportunity to get that. Oh gosh, that's all. Oh no! The Night Tiger. I've heard about this. I've seen it on people's channels. Don't really know what it's about, but that was enough for me. I've seen it on BookTube. I'm happy with it. Oh, what I do is I buy books that I've already read if I see them at charity shops so that I can, you know, when people come to your house and like, oh, can I take books? So I have spare copies of ones that I love. And I loved this book. So I've got a spare copy of that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, a podcast I listened to recommended this. She really liked it. So it's not really up my street, is it? But we'll see. Oh, here's another book that I love that I <laughs> picked up. This had a bird on the cover. Um, but actually, no, I remember this. It's sort of set in 1936, starts in Berlin, and, and she's a zoologist. Um, Oh no, he's a zoologist. Anyway, they go into the mountains of Tibet and they are their secret mission is to search for the origins of the Aryan race. Um, but then they kind of stay there for a while and when they come back, they realise what Hitler's done or doing when they get back. And um, yeah, that kind of perspective of someone who's from Germany who kind of isn't didn't hasn't gone through all of the horrors hasn't endured them personally but come back to see what actually is going on so i thought that would be an interesting perspective to read 
Okay, one bag down. Oh, a Thomas Keneally book. Um, I don't think I've ever read a Thomas Keneally book. This one sounded interesting. It's it's kind of, um, guys, I'm going to keep this haul. i got to go. Somebody else is here. Okay, it's many. No, it's not many days later. It's Sunday now, and it's early in the morning, so I'm going to talk quietly. Sorry. It's... it's you wouldn't believe it if I told you what I've been doing the last two days, let me tell you. Anyway, I want to finish off this book haul because I want to sit and read and I don't want, you know, can't be all out of whack. I think I showed you this before someone showed up. Is that right? Thomas Keneally. Anyway, this is a... I don't, I don't think I've any read any Thomas Keneally. But, yeah. This is about a plane that gets hijacked, but on the plane is a Indigenous dance troupe from Australia. This is going to be a five o'clock in the morning type book haul where I'll be like, I don't know. Oh, I saw this. I just finished The Long View by Elizabeth Jane Howard and, and really liked it. So, yeah, I want to read um, more, of her, more of her novels. So, yeah, I got really excited when I saw this one. Oh, I started reading this and then I had to take it back to the library, but now I have my own copy from the library, so it's a chunker. I was really enjoying it too, so I can pick this up now, whatever I like. Yay. Oh, uh, yes. I've read one book by Kelly Rimmer and I've seen her at the Brisbane Writers' Festival and, um... Yeah, I read before I let you go. It's really, I really, really enjoyed this book, that book. So it's not literary. It's very much easy to read, but it, the perspectives that she shows are really interesting. And I think this is about, um, yeah, a woman with a son that has autism, but it kind of jumps between... 2019 and World War Two in some way, and there's some connection there, so we shall see. Yeah, that was bag two. Classic. Had to pick it up. My very own copy. Got very excited when I saw this. If you haven't read this book, read it immediately. It's one of my my favourites, definitely. Um. This is vaguely familiar to me. I guess I've heard of The Sellout by Paul Beattie. This just caught my eye. I don't know anything about it. Oh. 1950s mystery? I've heard about this too a lot. I've seen this on somebody's channel a lot. I can't remember who. Oh, I got a Margaret Atwood book. Yeah, I don't really know why. I think it's the cover. I think it's the cover in this one. Kind of spoke a bit about, like it could be a bit of nature writing in there. Or maybe I'm just thinking it because of the cover. Anyway, I have read Margaret Atwood before. I've read um, Alias Grace and really enjoyed it. A long time ago, a really long time ago. So, no, I haven't read the, what's it called? I've seen the, what's it called? I haven't done that. Not really interested, but maybe that one will work for me. Oh, I had this out from the library and never got to it. This was uh, last year's release, I think. An Australian author. Yeah, it was published last year. Um, it's set in 1703 in Scotland, I think. And um, yeah, it looked really, really intriguing to me and I had to take it back to the library before I get a chance to read it. So. I've got my own copy. And this. This was, um, yeah. This is always something I've avoided because of that word there. And just the heaviness of that. Um, but I saw it and I thought maybe that's a sign that I should read it. Because I've had so many good things about this book. That's it. There we go. Book haul complete. There's the book haul. 
now I'm going to pick up my book with a cup of tea and get back to the fantasy book reading that was this vlog is supposed to be about but I went to a library book sale during the time that this vlog's going and I could not show you that would be really uncool I want to be a cool booktuber <laughs> show you every book I buy <laughs> okay lovelies let's I'll chat with you when I've got thoughts about what I'm reading I'm pointing up there because that's where I'm gonna sit that's where it is okay too early you know when you read but you don't really read and you're thinking about something else I was just thinking about something else okay I'll start that again yeah for about half an hour each morning the sun comes through the window it's gonna be beautiful in the winter but I just want to check in because I'm reading about wizards finding dragons and I'm finding that really cool and that's really surprising to me so just want to tell you that loving it loving the tale loving the dark thing in the background that's moving to the foreground the suspense and the build-up of that just yeah really enjoying it all I feel very much a part of this land wherever it is just and remaining in awe of the imagination it takes to write such great tales yeah fantasy something i'm enjoying right now oh hey i'm just gonna crawl back into bed now beside my snoring husband and keep reading but i just wanted to check in before i did that because you don't need to hear his snoring <laughs> Yep, still not finished the book. I've been working, setting up my Monday. Where's the I found one, I found one. And I've been <laughs> cooking and baking for lunch boxes. And doing all of that stuff. It's 6.30. And so now I'm gonna have some dinner. And a cup of hot chockey. Have a shower. And then sit down and read. I think I've got, I don't know. 30 or 40 pages left to go. Okay, I'll see you when I'm finished. Okay guys, however many days later it is, I have finished <laughs> this book. I mean, this is just very telling of how my life is at the moment that it takes me this long to finish a 200 page book. So anyway, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. My dear sister was correct. This is the perfect way to start my fantasy reading journey. The way it was resolved was really interesting to me and I'm on a bit of a you know, self-discovery journey at the moment, um, talking a lot about shadows and integrating them into your life and um, yeah, this was kind of, I don't know, a nod to that I felt, which I liked because, you know, gave me a bit of challenge and a bit of something to think about. So that, yeah, I, I just really enjoyed the writing i got completely lost in this land in this story it was it was just this wonderful escape i mean is that why people read fantasy because it's such a great idea it just it takes you completely out of reality and just gives you lets you take a breath i think yeah so yeah i absolutely loved it um i this was kind of published in the early 80s i think the original the first publication was in the 70s, um, but it says on the back that this is a trilogy. I've looked it up and there's a heap of books in the Earthsea series. So um, I plan to continue to read this for sure. I will keep my eye out for these the next book and, um, yeah, really spend time with this. 
I think, with this series because I absolutely loved it. If you have other fantasy series that you love, that you think I might like, you guys know my reading, you know what I like, then, yeah, let me know because I think that this is, um, this is the perfect way to get out of my own head, which I need to do sometimes. So thank you to my dear, wonderful sister for showing me um, this Earthsea book and introducing me to something out of my comfort zone but something that was really really wonderful experience I just I, I just really loved it who would have thought who would have thought anyway that's kind of it we've all been on this fantasy vlog journey for too long <laughs> yeah please leave your recommendations if you have some of, of wonderful um, fantasy series and if you've read the Earthsea series let me know as well okay I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me in this whole new experience. Bye.